All right, this Sunday, two will get in and one will go home. Rams, Bears, Cardinals, and the Rams and Cardinals play. The winner will have a playoff berth. It's that simple. The loser will need help. The Rams get in if the Bears lose, and the Bears get in if the Cardinals lose. Of course, the easiest way for the Bears to get in is just beat the Packers. For the Rams, it will be John Wolford at quarterback because Jared Goff had surgery on his thumb. It was the same doctor who did the surgery last year on Drew Brees' thumb. So uh, Brees missed five games. Jared Goff could be back for the playoffs, according to his head coach, Sean McVay. That would be surprising if it happens. But uh, look, here comes Walford. And there was a Rams quarterback that no one had heard of in 1999 who replaced Trent Green. And I remember thinking in the preseason after Green had suffered a torn ACL when he took a low hit from our good friend Rodney Harrison, that the Rams are done. Not that anybody expected anything out of the Rams. There was kind of a, hey, maybe the Rams are onto something here because they have Trent Green and they have Marshall Falk, and maybe it's, you know, it's going to work, and the air went out of the balloon with that. Well, here comes Kurt Warner. So you take Sean McVay, an offensive genius, you give him a quarterback that he's been working with all year long. Who knows? Maybe they'll cook something up, and maybe they'll have some success. And if this team is built, Chris, on running game and defense, it's not like John Wolford has to go out and do a whole lot. And based on what we've seen from Jared Goff, it's a low bar, frankly, to to match what Goff's done this season. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't. You know, they're not a team where we look there and just go, "Oh, it's all about the quarterback," and that the quarterback has to play at a high level for them to win football games. We know that's not the case. You know, it, it is. They are a running defensive football team. And when they've lost games, it's because they've not been able to run and they've had a throw and they're not capable of making enough plays that way. And, you know, Jared Goff's had his issues. Jared Goff, tough as hell. I do want to say that. I mean, for him to hang in there and play the other day, there is something to say about that. Definitely. But I think the overall formula for which how the Rams play on the offensive side of the ball, it's not going to change one bit. You're still going to see the same look Rams. Seen John Walford. He's a pretty good athlete. He's got pretty good control of the ball. Saw him on the field a few years ago at Notre Dame when when he came in there as the Wake Forest starting quarterback. You know, can move around well. He's going to be able to do all the boots and play action stuff that they need him to do. So I don't really think they're going to miss anything, you know, other than I think here's the big thing. Yeah, he hasn't played all year. So now he's playing in a big football game against the Arizona Cardinals. They got to protect him early, especially. Just don't put him in any situation to where he can make a mistake and end up screwing your season over because now, hey, we got a guy that we asked to do something a little too aggressive here and we've thrown two interceptions and over down 14 nothing and might not go to the playoffs. And they might not have, you know, the check with me's at the line of scrimmage, right, Mike? That's probably where they're going to have to dial it back a little bit, where Goff and McVay have this great – you know, hey, you got two or three plays called, and here we go. Let's get up to the line of scrimmage, and you figure it out real quick. They'll probably dial that back a little bit. But I think all in all, it's still going to look the same to us as viewers on TV. You know who his backup's going to be on Sunday, don't you? Blake Bortles coming to <laughs> save the day. <laughs> uh, look, look the, the, the fact that Bortles was the backup last year and the Rams let him leave without even batting an eye – I think already tells us everything we need to know at this point. This is just, here's a guy who number one has a pulse and number two knows the offense, right? I don't think they have a whole lot of faith in Blake Bortles or he'd have been the backup and he'd be the guy getting the start on Sunday. So it's John Walford who has kind of bounced around the NFL and he played in the AAF. He's never thrown a, a regular season pass in the NFL, but he did have 14 touchdown passes in the truncated only AAF season of yeah. 20. 19 so he's got playing experience just not at this level and not at these stakes hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports